Happy day everyone! I am Marjorie Cruz. You can call me Teacher Majoy. Today, we will discuss about the strategies and teaching of media and technology in the classroom. The first one is about print maps. Using the Google Maps application to show on the class screen or board on how you can input two addresses to get directions from one location to another. Maps can be used to make learning relevant and to explore a multitude of topics, give visual dimension, and incorporate visual learning teacher thinking and quantitative skills into a lesson. For example, mapping the way from home to school. Students will be able to transfer their knowledge of simple codes. For example, up, down, left, or right. Engage in problem solving to help find the right path or the right way from home to school. Did Shapir how to solve her or his map and explain why that solution is correct? Using these strategies, the students combine their knowledge of code to practice using maps. The second one is about educational television. The most and obvious way teachers use educational television programs is to make a connection between the show and the concept being studied in the class. Teachers often find that as they coordinate their lesson plans with visual learning, students are more likely to stay focused and pay attention. Bring educational shows from home to the classroom. It can be extremely valuable for teachers to understand and learn about popular shows their students may be watching at home. These programs will have some learnings or concepts that teachers can apply inside the classroom. The third one is documentary films. Documentary films can bring the world to students in very real ways. They can be connected to the current events, incorporate reflective writing, to a role playing, or even to a poster making. Documentary films has the potential to create a social and emotional connection to its subject matter and can provide a human experience. Those awareness is not available from textbook or lectures. The impact of audio and visual components supports students' attention of information. Let's move on to the fourth one, the social media post. Today's generation is hooked on social media. Social media are internet sites where people interact with one another. They provide a place where people across the world share information and engage in discussion. Social media can be switched to a learning platform that helps to increase communication skills and provide a backdoor for shy learners. And the students struggle with speaking in the front of their classmates, they may feel more comfortable speaking on social media. Furthermore, social media relies on the written word. It is intelligent means of improving writing skills. Using different social media, the students can share online resources related to a course work. In the other side, Special interest groups can easily be created by using hashtag to collect information. The fifth one is about digital field trips. Digital field trips is an increasingly popular, useful, and cost-effective tool for teachers searching for a new ways to use technology in the classroom in taking digital field trips. There are available applications that allows virtually explore. Like for example, the Secret Life of Corals, 
Axis Mars Butterfly Conservatory Hidden World of National Parks and many more. There are more exciting places to go and connections, more engaging, and the most of all, absolutely free. Media and technology creates a more engaged environment. By the use of the devices, the technology in the classroom can help turn traditionally dull subjects into interactive and fun activities. Media and technology introduced in the classroom influencing your students to actively participate in learning and leading your students to remember vocabulary. This is the majority of today's careers. The students can prepare to successfully enter the workforce after graduation. Media and technology plays an important role to provide teaching strategies in the classroom and incorporates different learning styles. The media and technology in the classroom can help you modify your lessons. I hope you learned a lot from this video clip. Again, this is Teacher Majoy. Thank you for listening and watching.